XRP Future Millionaire. I want to start out this update by telling you guys or clarifying my last update. So I seen a lot of people, well not a lot of people, there's like three or four people in the comments that were like angry or you know upset that I said about the XRP buyback. When I was saying that, I said, don't buy back XRP. If they offered you a buyback for XRP at this level, why would you take it? And they didn't come in at eighty. they'd look like, you know, the saving grace. With the update, it was two totally different things. I was saying, don't ever accept a buyback for XRP. It'd be like gold, and then they would raise it and blah, blah, blah. I was showing you an example. That update, there was two articles in my last update that went towards Ripple and the valuation going from 10 to $15 billion. That's what that was for. I know it's not XRP's not the shares and Ripple are two different things that were being bought back. I was saying if they were ever offered a buyback, don't take it from the U.S. So I just wanted to clarify that. That article was specifically to show you both of them, to show you the increase year over year with Ripple going from 10 to 15 billion valuation during all of this. That was the point. So I know most of the audience got it. Some of you didn't. So I wanted to clarify it. No harm, no foul. And I don't even disrespect the ones who were trying to be a little pushy in the comments because you have every right to your opinion. So what's going on in the charts? XRP is up to 62.354. As I talked about, I thought it was going to come up to 65.5. There is a chance that we could get cut off here at this top. So, I mean, if we come up here to 62.4, I think we're going to break that, but there's a chance we get stuck at like 63.4. Tang knows. We could get stuck at 63.4, 4 roughly. So, watch that level, but I'm still playing the 65.5, trying to get a burst. And even, we could even possibly have something where you get an overshot. But I'm, I'm obviously playing the 65.5, 65.8. Actually, it's the 65.5. I don't know why I have that at 65.8. I think I moved it up on accident to show you guys something. But it's that area, the 65.5, that I was initially playing from 5.97 on 10,000 shares. So that's what I'm playing. And then DGB, I just have my shares sitting there. At 1.97, whatever, I have 11,100 shares. But that's what I was seeing. That's what I'm feeling right now. It's not like, oh my God, XRP's made this great game. But I like to be in a position when I feel like it's in a spot where I could make money. So four point something percent right now. But if it gets up here, I'd be up, you know, better than 10%. So that's what I'm looking at. But guys, there's no guarantee that this continues to go up. But right now it's doing exactly what we want. I'll keep you updated when appropriate. XLM real quick. And I'm on my mobile phone because I'm trying to put my son to bed. But I, I wanted to come on to clarify all this so that people weren't like, oh, my God. So 19.4 support, 22's resistance. We have a really tough spot here to get by at 206. So remember that. And then DGB real quick. <coughs> 2124 support. We've got resistance up here at 2352, but it looks like it's riding this and holding the support very nicely. In the 30 minutes, we're trying to finish off a bullish divergence. We just got to get past the short-term moving average that's in the blue just above the red, which I think we're going to finish it. And I think DGB is going to be up at a minimum around that 224 area. Stay blessed, everybody.